So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some free online editing softwares you can use to create your designs. And it gets better guys. One of these you will actually be able to use on your phone so you can create designs on the go. Hi guys, my name is Phil and welcome to the Money Game YouTube channel. For anyone who's new around here, I make print on demand content to both motivate and to also give you guys tips and tricks on how to improve your print on demand shops. Now in this video, like I've said, I'm going to be going through some free online softwares. Some of them aren't actually online based. You can actually download some of them and some you can use on your phone. But before I do get into that, I just want to say for anyone that is new to the channel, I have a free print on demand starter guide that's linked down in the description. That's filled with all the information I use to get my first few sales online. However, if you're someone that's looking to make print on demand into more of a full time thing, I have a paid step by step course that's also linked down in the description that will fast track you to print on demand success. So check that out if that's something you feel you'd be interested in. And for anyone who hasn't already, if you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bells, doing that will ensure that you don't miss out on any potential information that could help you make some extra cash and also we do appreciate like ratings on this channel so, so if you could press that as well that would be very much appreciated okay getting straight into this video i'm going to be starting off with an online free editing software you can use on your phone now i'm not going to go on my phone and go on it right now i'm actually going to overlay a video showing me on the app using it now if you're on apple if you're on android you can easily download this app it's called the over app i've made a full dedicated video about this app so if you want to check out that video it'll be linked down in the description and pretty much how this works is it allows you to create designs on your phone when you go on the app you can actually set dimensions i think to 8000 by 8000 which is the highest dimension you can create using the over app and if you don't want to use 8000 by 8000 you can use my recommended dimensions which are 5000 by 7100 the great thing about using the over app is that there's a lot of text shapes and things that are free to use they do have some paid options there but if you just want to use the free version you can still create quote based designs you can still create text related designs if you have images on your phone that you want to put on designs you can create them on there and I've even had people in my comments telling me that they've created sticker packs using the over app. So there's a lot of potential as to what you can do with the over app. And once again, if you want to see the full dedicated video for that, it will be linked down in the description. Now as for the rest of the softwares I'll be talking about in this video, I'm going to be jumping onto my PC and actually going on them and showing you guys the basics of how they work and why I personally think you should use them alongside some of the downsides of using some of them just so you do have an idea of how they actually work so i'm going to jump over to my pc and we'll actually look at how some of these work right guys so i've jumped onto my pc and i'm going to be showing you some online free editing softwares you can use to create your designs alongside some editing softwares you can also download for free so a lot of free information to come now the first one we're going to be talking about is pixel R. to find this you just come on google type pixel R, search and it'll be the first thing that pops up the top link once you're here you just click on the option that says advanced pixel art e and then it will open up like this and at this point you can then click create new and then set the dimensions that you want now when i'm creating designs for redbubble the dimensions i usually go with are 5000 by 7100 but on pixel art you can't actually create these dimensions it goes up to 4096 by 4096 so you just put 4096 by 4096 this is one of the downsides of using pixel R. but overall the main advantage of this is that it is free and you can create designs on this fairly easily if i was to create an example simple text design for you guys all you'd have to do is click on the text option there and then click on the box and then it will allow you to add a new text layer once you do that you could add in the text you want for example we can just put cool quote here and obviously if you add your quote you could easily edit in here i'll make this bigger if you want to increase the size of anything you can either type in a number there or just drag it till your text or design is as big as you want it to be so we'll put it something like this and you could put it up to the middle and just like that you have a cool design you can use and if you want to change the font they do actually have a selection of fonts 
as you guys can see here you just go through find the font that you want to use let's say for example we want to use this font you click it select it and if you feel that your text is bold and big enough usually you'd want it to be more centered and you'd want it to be a bit bigger so i'll see if i can make it a bit bigger for you guys to show you what i would usually do if i was using this and then once you've done this all you then do is click on file save and then on the saving options it will allow you to just download the image so you can pick whether you want it to be a jpg png this <laughs> or this <laughs> but i just select png mainly because that is the format that works with redbubble as well as other print on demand sites once you do that you just download it and it will download onto your pcs on your download folder or wherever you do decide to save it so yeah this is very very simple to use and it's a really good beginners software to use for creating your designs once again it's completely free but it does have the downside that it only allows you to go to 4096 by 4096 pixels which aren't really my preferred dimensions the next free online software is photopea or photo p whatever you want to call it if you type it in on google and search it will be once again the top link you click that and it will open it up the thing that I like most about this is that it operates like Photoshop it's literally the free version of Photoshop and it's really easy to use and it doesn't have the same limitations that pixel has that I showed you before to use this it's fairly simple you click on new project when it finally loads up you want to make sure that your dimensions are 5,000 by 7100 which are my preferred dimensions for redbubble and once you have that your dimension set i usually put my dpi to 300 so you can set your dpi to either 300 or 150 when you do have it open it will look blank something very similar to this you won't have any layers here it will be blank for you besides the background layer which if on will be white i've put some things there to show you an example of how easy it is to use if you were to add your text you just click on the text option and add your text in i'll just show you a quick example of how that would actually work so you click text like that the text box pops up and you can just put add quote here once again this is just a quick example to show you guys how this works and if i was creating a design using this i would make sure that whatever it is i'm creating is centered therefore when i do go on to redbubble to upload my design it'll be centered on all items now if you wanted to change the font on photo pair it's very simple you just come onto this little section here once the drop down does pop up you see there there's a lot of fonts and it's very very easy to use and anyone can pretty much use this like i said it's very very similar to photoshop so if you know how to use photoshop you can use this no problem at all and when you play around with it you could end up creating things that look very similar to this this is something that i just put together and all i did was i just selected the shape option create some shapes put some text and then once again just mix text and shape which is very very easy to do if i was to put this on a shirt then i'll just save this by going on file and then export as png and it will allow me to pretty much save it onto my computer another thing i like about using photo Pay is the fact that if you already have psd files or if you want to open psd files and you don't have photoshop photo Pay will allow you to open them but the only downside of using this is that if you have a lot of programs already open on your pc this might run a little bit slow so when you're using this you want to make sure you don't have too many other things running in the background else it will affect how this program runs and when you do run this program sometimes it will cause your pc to be slow at doing other things so when you're creating using this especially if you don't have a fast laptop or fast pc just bear that in mind so you're not trying to do too many things at once to finish your stuff today we have gimp now for anyone who wants gimp you literally go on gimp.org and you can download it from here i downloaded this mainly because i noticed in the comments of my videos a lot of people were saying this is a free editing software they used so one i wanted to edit into this video because of that and two i also wanted to download it and show you guys me using it for the first time just so you guys can see how easy it is once it's open this is pretty much what you see i'm just going to make
create this full screen and from this point all you want to do it's very very similar to using photoshop pixel art you always want to go and file new and then you can actually select the dimensions that you want now the dimensions that i use especially when it comes to red bubble designs it's 5000 by 7100 so i'm just going to put that in here and then once the dimensions pop up here i just click ok okay and then it'll open a layer file for me or open a new file for me with those dimensions now once again i've never really used gimp so if i was to assume how to use text on this i'll go on the text tool now the a as you can see there is the text tool when you click that you can just click anywhere in the space and then type in whatever you want to type in so we'll just put in your quote here now when you have that edit in i'm gonna assume to increase the size you highlight and this number here i'm gonna assume this is the size and as you can see there that does actually increase the size of the text let's make it a little bit bigger i'll make it 500 and just like that you can have your text pretty much created for yourself and if i was on here and i wanted to change the font i would have to do it i would assume here and you can see here there's a variation of font there I'm just going to see if I can pick a font that's different, show you how easy it is to change the font and like that you see the font changes and you could always make it bolder or you know not as bold slanted. Here I'm just basically showing you guys how you can create a file, put some text on it to get a design that's pretty much ready to go. You can remove the background by you know hiding the layer the same way you do on programs such as Photoshop. And yeah guys if you wanted to save this you just go on file export as and then choose where you want to save it on your laptop or your pc so once again it's fairly easy to use but yeah i just thought i would show you these free editing softwares to use because a lot of people have been asking me questions about what they can create their designs on some people say that they can't afford things like photoshop so i wanted to make this video to also be a future reference to those people asking me those questions as well as to help you guys out that don't know what softwares to use and with that said i'll jump back to the camera i just want to say if you're still watching at this point you're amazing this is officially the end of the video but before you click off the video if you've made it to this point down in the comment section comment down i play the money game because i'm interested in seeing how many of you guys are actually on your hustle trying to actually make money online i'm going to try to respond to as many comments as i can you guys already know how it is nevertheless always remember that everything is rigged in your favor and manifest success no.